All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakai Kodash, the ones that are the apostles of great meals, and I do it well. And salutations and blessings to you, I can that's pushing his word with true sincerity and charity. <clears throat> Today, I want to just go, I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, <clears throat> We Won't Be Around Forever. All right, man, because hey, the Lord didn't set up the prophets to be around forever, man. I right, to be warning the people <clears throat> uh, uh, um, when all hell is broken loose already, man. I right, warn the people when, uh, um, um, you know, when it's when it's not needed to, when they're not needed to be warned, man. All right, because we're warning you uh, uh, um, for a time of Jacob's troubles to come, man. All right, the time of all hell breaking loose, man. All right, that's what we're warning you about. But, hey, we're not going to be out there when all hell is is broken loose, man. All right, we're going to be gone, man. The Lord is going to shut us up, man. All right, hey, the, the, uh, uh, um, the prudent man is going to be silent in that day, man. All right, we're not going to be saying anything, man. We're not going to be on the highways and badways. Pushing uh, the words of Yahweh Hashem Al Shah, man. All right, because hey, Esau Edom is gonna ultimately get us up off these streets, man. All right, he's gonna set up his uh, his uh, uh, his wicked decrees, man. All right, to get us up off the streets, man. All right, hey, he's doing it through coronavirus. All right, saying hey, you can't be too close to to a person. All right, and all this mess, man. All right, but hey, that's ultimately just coming towards the uh, uh, the famine of the word, man. All right, so hey, you have to get this while you can, man. All right, because hey, it's gonna be like this time of Noah, man. All right, that when they seen that rain drop, hey, then they wanted to try to get right, man, but hey, it's too late, you know? So, hey, with any further ado, I'm going to jump to it. So, this is Amos chapter 8 and uh, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, said Yahweh Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. So, hey, man, it's going to be a time where you're not going to be able to hear the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, man. You're not going to be able to come up to the prophets and talk, all right, talk your mess, man. All right, ask dumbass questions, all right? When, hey, man, you should just be getting right, man. You should be, you should just be repenting, turning from your wicked ways, man. All right, calling on the name of Yahweh Bashem al -Shah. And that's for you so-called Negro, Spanish, and Native Americans, man. Those that uh, 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 may look like another nation, but uh, seed land still goes back to a Negro, Spanish, and Native American, which makes you a Hebrew Israelite, man. All right, which is the only one that, uh, which are the only ones who can obtain salvation, man. All right, because, hey, it says... That uh um um the name of the Lord is a strong tower, man. The righteous the righteous will run it, will run into it, and it's safe. All right, and it also said in Hebrews four and twelve that uh um uh it's only one name under heaven that you may be saved, and that name is Yahweh Shemuel Shai. And who only ones who are called on it are Israelites, man. All right, because the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. All right, so hey, man, if you're hearing this word, man, all right, and you can understand it, man, it, it makes sense to you, man. You need to get right, man. You need to repent. Okay, because a hey, verse 12 and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. All right, man. So, hey, you will not find the word of Yahweh by Shema Shah, man, because the Lord is going to take his prophets off the streets, man. All right, because Esau is coming with that great wrath. Okay, and we're not going to be caught up in that, man. So you're not going to be able to find us. So, hey, you better seek the Lord while he's here, man. So this is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So, hey, man, you have to call upon call upon your Habash Shemal Shah while he is near, man. All right? Because, hey, when you come to the prophets, we're going to tell you how to do that, man. All right? How will you hear without a preacher? All right? How will you understand these words without a preacher, man? All right? So, hey, you have to understand. You have to get this understanding right now, man. Because understanding is not going to be around forever, man. These breakdowns are not going to be, be on uh, YouTube all the time, man. All right, hey, they're clipping uh, entire channels, man. All right, so, hey, you're not going to be able to just get uh, wake up in the morning and say, well, you know, I, I want to listen to this today. All right, and still go on to go on in your wickedness, man. No, you have to call upon the name of the Lord now. All right. So it says, let the let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto Yahweh and he will have mercy upon him and to our Lord for he will abundantly pardon. All right. So, hey, man. You got to uh, 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 forsake your ways, man. You got to you gotta turn from your wickedness, man. You got to turn from anything that you was doing, man. All right, whether you was a, a, a um, you know, a, a adultery, man. All right, whatever, man. A, a thief. Okay, it don't matter, man. You have to turn to Yahweh Shemal Shah and forsake your wicked ways, man. All right, because then Yahweh Shemal Shah have mercy upon you. Then he had a protection for you, man. All right, you just have to confess your sins unto him. All right, and truly repent, man. So this is uh, Psalms 32 and 5. It says, I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have, have I not hid. 
I said I will confess my transgressions unto Yahweh, and thou forgivest the iniquity of my sin. All right, because Yahweh Shemal Shah is a merciful power, man. All right, so hey, amen. Don't 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 be slack to turn back to Yahweh Shemal Shah. Don't be slack to repent, man. All right, hey, it's good to say that uh, uh, um, putting out off Yahweh from day to day. All right, man. So hey, if you if you can understand this, man, you need to get it right now, man. All right, because hey, all hell is 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 is, uh, is about to break loose, man. All right, if you're watching the news, man, if you're watching the things that are that, that are happening right now, man, hey, that that microchip is right around the corner, man. All right, martial law is right around the corner, man. Jacob Trouble is right around the corner. All right, so hey, man, by you, hey, you you being a fool if you don't want to hit these, if you don't want to turn to your how about Shemal Shah, man. All right, because hey, in Proverbs the first chapter, the Lord says he's gonna laugh at your calamities, man. All right, and the reason why that is is because you didn't turn back, you didn't want to hearken, so he's gonna laugh, man. Okay. So verse 6, it says, For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. All right? So, hey, man, hey, the godly is going to pray unto you, how about Shemal Shah, in a time that he, may, that he may be found, man. All right? And that time is now, man. All right? Because, hey, the wicked is not going to turn from their, from their ways, man. The wicked is going gonna, is gonna to continue in their ways. They're going to they're gonna take the RFID chip. They're going to take the vaccine. All right? They want to be a part of this new world order, man. Because, hey, this is their world, man. All right? They're a part of the wicked, man. All right, tells you in, in Psalms, the 10th chapter, man. All right, that uh, Yahweh is is not at all is not in their thoughts, man. It's not is not in the thoughts of the wicked, man. The wicked don't think upon Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, man. All right, but the godly are gonna pray unto him, man. You know, and that's the elect. So it says, surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto thee. Thou um thou art my hiding place. Um thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt can pass me about with songs of deliverance, Salah. So, hey, man, these people are not going to hear uh, Yahweh Bashem al man. man. Right, they don't want to hear the Lord, man. Okay? They want they want to be taken by that flood, man. All right? That's what they want. You know? Because, hey, if you don't want to repent, man, you love death. All right? Anyone that hates Yahweh Bashem al loves death, man. All right? But, hey, if you, if, if you repent, man, all right, the Lord is going to have a hiding place for you, man. He's going to preserve you from trouble, man. All right? But you have to truly believe that. Okay? So, let me get Jeremiah 29 and uh, verse 12. It says, Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. All right? So, amen. If you pray unto you, how about you, in the time that he, that he may be found, man, he will hearken unto you, man. And ye shall seek me and find me uh, when, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. All right, man. So, hey, with all your heart, man, turning from your wickedness, man. All right, and truly uh, uh, calling on the name of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, man. All right, truly wanting that deliverance, cause, hey, man, the Lord is not gonna just uh, turn his back on you, man. The Lord is not; he, he's not just gonna be like, oh, well, I, 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 I don't want to hear this. I, I, I'm not just, I'm not gonna hear you, man. All right, if you truly repent and call on His name, man. All right, that's all you gotta do. But hey, if, if you, if you're just wicked, man, hey, the Lord is not gonna hear anything that you have, anything that you have to say, man. All right, the 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 uh the prayers of the wicked are not heard by Yahweh about Shemal Shah. <clears throat> so this is Matthew chapter seven and verse seven. It says, Ask and it shall be and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that ask it receive it, and he that seek it find it. And to him that knock it, it shall be opened. So Amen. When you see the prophets, <coughs> Salakin. You see the prophets, you're supposed to uh, go and seek, man. You're supposed to ask questions. You, you're supposed to uh, try to get understanding, man. Are you supposed to get this wisdom, all right? But, hey, if you're not knocking, man, if you're not trying to get that understanding, man, all right, hey, you're going to be you're gonna be on the other side of the door, man. You're going to taste that destruction, man. You're going to uh, uh, get that flood, man, same way it was in time of Noah. But, hey, this time is going to be with fire, man, okay? It's the same concept. It's the same exact concept, man, all right? There's no new thing under the sun, man. Okay, so this is Matthew 24 and verse uh, 37. Hey, man, hey, well, hey, a lot of people love the story of Noah, man, but they don't truly understand the, 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 the concept behind it, man. They don't understand it, man. All right, it's all about repenting, man. All right, get right, man, before the destruction comes, man. Okay, because, hey, these people, they're not trying to get right, man. All right, they want to continue in their folly, man, you know. So this is Matthew 24 and 37. It says, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. All right? And that's, that's Yahweh Shai, man. All right? The coming back of our Lord, man, the return, man. All right? And when he returns, man, there is wrath and destruction and death and murder, man. All right? That's what the Lord is bringing, man. Okay? Hey, let me get this right quick. This is 2 Ezra chapter 16 
and uh, let me see, verse eight, verse nine. It says, "A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it?" All right. So, Amen. Yahweh Shmuel Shai is angry right now, man. All right. No one can quench the uh the fury of Yahweh Shmuel Shai, man, because it's already set, man. All right. It's already written, man. All right. That the Lord is gonna come back. He's gonna take many crowns. He's gonna destroy this land, man. All right. Second Ezra is the thirteenth chapter, man. Okay, hey, all these people are about to be burned up, man, for their wickedness, man. All right, so, hey, it's time for those who, who, who can understand this, man. It's time for you to repent, man. It's time for you to turn back. Because it tells you in Romans, the 13th chapter, man, it is high time, man. All right, it is high time, man. Okay? So, well, you know, hey, let me grab that, man. This is uh, Romans 13 and uh, verse 11. It says, in that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. All right, it's time to wake up, man. All right, it's time to 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 to, to stop wanting to live inside of your fucking dreams in La La Land, man. All right, because hey, this place is about to be destroyed, man. All right, all of your dreams are gonna be destroyed, man. All right, the only dream that you should have is uh, is the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, because everything here is 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 nuke is nuke food, man. Okay, so it says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. All right, everyone wants salvation, right? No one wants to get uh, tormented with fire and brimstone, man. All right, ICBM nuclear missile fire, man. All right, so hey, if you don't want to do that, you need to repent. All right, you need to uh, call on Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, man. All right, and truly trust in Him, man. Stop chasing this fucking world. Stop chasing money. All right, because hey, man, all those things, hey, riches profit not in the day of wrath, man. All right, none of those things are going to profit you, man. It's going to only lead you to death, okay? So this is Matthew 24 and um, verse 38. It says, For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. All right. So, hey, man, these people, they're, they're, they're doing that right now, man. <laughs> hey, what is this Thanksgiving? Okay. Hey, these these people are, are, are feeding, uh, uh, feeding that flesh, man. All right. And, hey, they're all doing it in the name of JC, you know. They're doing it in the name of JC, man. So, hey, they're not following the, the true name of Yahweh Shem al man. All right? They, they're, they're just all off, man. All right? And they see all this hell that's happening, man. All right? Hey, America is falling right before their eyes, man. And they want to go fucking uh, celebrate Thanksgiving, man. All right? Hey, man, you people are nothing but fools, man. All right? But, hey, for those who can't repent, man, this is only for you, man. This is only for the elect, man. The Lord only cares about the elect. Okay? <clears throat> and hey man, we're not gonna be around forever because that persecution is coming. You know, they're coming for us too, man. They're coming for the prophets. So hey, you're not gonna be able to hear this word, man. All right, unless somehow you you're inside of a concentration camp. All right, if the prophets, you know, if some of us be in there, you know, hey, you come across a prophet and then the spirit jump on them, break that break bread with you, man. All right, but hey, for the most part, man, hey, the prudent man is gonna be silent in that day, man. So you people are not gonna get anything, man. Okay. So this is John 15 and verse uh, 18. It says, if the, word, if the world hated you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. All right. So if, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. All right. So, hey, man, this world hates us, man. All right. This world wants to kill us, man. All right. Hey, the righteous man. And grab it. Hey, man, we're abominations to these people, man. They're abominations to us. So this is uh, Proverbs 29 and 27. It says, as un uh, it says, an unjust man is an abomination to the just. And he that is upright in the way is, abom is abomination to the wicked. All right. So, hey, man, these people hate us and we hate them, man. All right. They, they, they're detest uh, um, um, we're detestable to them and they're detestable to us, man. All right. Because they're not uh, righteous, man. All right. We're not wicked. All right, so hey, they 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 hate us, man. They want to kill us, man. All right, the same way that they did with Stephen, the same way they did with the the other prophets, man. All right, they just want us dead, man. They want us to to get up out the way. All right, they love that Isaiah the thirtieth chapter, man. They want us to lie to them, okay? So it says, verse twenty. Uh, remember the word that I said unto you: the servant is not greater than his lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my sayings. They will keep yours also. So, hey, man, these people want to kill us, man. They want to persecute us, man. All right, for the name of Yahweh Bashem al All right, so, hey, but but all these things would they do unto you for my name's sake? 
because they know not him that sent me. So, hey, man, they doing this all because of Yahweh Bashim al man. All right, they're not doing this because of because of us, man. All right? They, it, it is because of us, but it's, it's truly because of Yahweh Bashim al man. Okay? Like it says in the book of Luke. Because, hey, man, we're nothing but messengers, man. All we're doing is giving you a message, man. If you don't want to hear it, man, all right, that means that you hate the one that sent it. Okay? So this is Luke 10 and 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, um, despiseth him that sent me. So, hey, man, you ultimately hate your Haba Shemel Shah, man. Because all we're doing is, is bringing to you what he said, man. All right? Repent or he's going to kill you, man. All right? Turn from your wicked ways, man. That's what the Lord wants. Okay? But they don't want to do that, man. So, hey, they're going to seek to kill us, man. Okay? And ultimately, Esau eat him because his kingdom is fallen. Okay? And hey, that's and and, and 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 his kingdom is falling because all the truth is coming out, man. All right, a world built on lies, man. A world built on lies, man. So when truth comes out, hey, it breaks it down, it, it, it beats it down, man. All right, that's what's happening, okay. So this is Matthew 6 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So, hey, man, you need to seek the kingdom of Yahweh, Shem al Shah, man. You need to seek his ways, man. You need to seek after righteousness, man. Okay, and repent and turn from your wickedness, man, because, hey, the prophets won't be on the highways and bad ways forever, man. Okay? So, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechach Kodash, Dawa Anza Ta'el, the apostles of Great Millstone, that do a will, and salutations and blessings to you, I can that's pushing this word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.